Hey, Pops, we need more views. Put this on your head. Uh, what for, dude? This will make us famous like Kentucky Ballistics. I don't know. It seems kind of dangerous. Don't worry. You've got a steel plate left in your head for that brain surgery. Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. Don't try this at home, kids. Right here? No, Pops. I think a little bit higher. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'll hear you on it. All right. Blast away. All right. Here I go. Dude, you missed. Oh, no. Hey, get back here. States has taken away your right to self-defense and has banned all body armor to all civilians. What do you do? Unfortunately, mild cases of this have already happened. Things like this have popped up in places like New York. This is an example of what the military and law enforcement uses as body armor. Today, we're going to be trying to simulate this using duct tape and other hardware store solutions. Let's go outside and see what happens, you dirty dogs. Yippee yeehaw! What's up, dirty dogs? Now we're outside. Question number one. Can duct tape stop a bullet? We've got this cardboard base here with about an inch of duct tape on it. Let's start off with something small and see if a 22 can stop it. First off, we're going to be using a quiet 22 bullet traveling at about 800 feet per second. Let's go. So duct tape, on its own, really does not do a whole lot. Here's the bullet right there. Okay. So, duct tape, out of the question. Let's start stepping things up now. Ceramic tile. All right, dirty dogs. Up next, we're going to be using a regular Winchester hollow point 22, traveling at about 1,200 feet per second. Our new armor here has two ceramic tiles and a 16 gauge piece of steel behind it. Let's see if it stops a bullet. Cracked the first tile a little bit. Doesn't look like it went through the second tile though, and it definitely didn't go through anything else. That's pretty good, okay. So. Tile will stop a bullet. Up next, we're going to be using a hollow point 45 from a 1911. It bent the metal. Did it go through? It bent it. It bent it? Oh, good. Three, two, one. <laughs> Pops for that 1911 demonstration. So we've got two hits from 45 ACP here. First one we missed on slow motion, so we had to do it again. But it looks like both of them penetrated both layers of tile and then dented the steel. You can see two slight bulges there, but it did not penetrate. We're going to step up the caliber again to 44 Magnum. Now if this bad boy can stop 44 Magnum, then it's officially rated at level 3 Alpha. Let's see what happens. 
All right, dirty dogs. We've got our Henry here again today, chambered in 44 Magnum, shooting a 240 grain bullet, hollow point. Let's see if this can hold up. Oh man! It did stop it, but I don't think that would be a good day for you if you were wearing this. But I think you would survive. Just maybe, you know, a couple broken ribs. But wow. Yeah. Oh, man. There's the entrance hole. You can see the, the jacket of the bullet fell out. But hey, it's officially level 3A. Next up, we're going to be using some pretty standard 55 grain 223 bullets out of a Ruger Mini 14. All right, did this stop a 223? Looks like it. Did a lot of damage. Oh no, it did not stop the 223. Although, it didn't really do much damage to the cinder block, so I wonder if that would kill you. Well, I guess we'll try to shoot this with uh, some 762 by 39 and see if it stops that. I have a feeling that it's not going to. Up next, we've got our 762 by 39, 122 grain bullet. Did it stop a 762 by 39? Oh no, no way did it stop it. That blew a huge hole in that. All right, well. Lastly, let's shoot it with a 12 gauge one ounce slug and see what happens. Here's our 12 gauge slug out of our Stoger semi auto 12 gauge. The very center of this armor plate is still intact. Let's see if I can hit it with a one ounce slug. Whoa. I have a feeling that didn't stop it. <laughs> yeah, that didn't stop a slug. Or wait. Oh, no, no, it, it clearly did. <laughs> but hey, the cinder blocks held up pretty good. So I do have to wonder if you would survive all of those hitting you. Probably not. But hey, whatever. So now our last question is, what does it take to stop a 30-06? We're going to be lining up these three tiles and another piece of 16 gauge sheet steel. And we are going to see if all of this combined is enough to stop a 30 out six. Wow. Uh, yeah, I don't think anything stops a 30 out six. <laughs> Hang on, I don't see anything on the cinder block. I would expect something from 30 out 6 there. Well, it went through that, and then it went through that, but I think that's the 223. Yeah, that lines up with the 223. So, wow. Okay, apparently all you need is uh, two sheets of 16 gauge steel and five tiles, which weighs what, 20 pounds? I guess you can strap that to your chest. Don't take that as an endorsement. If you hurt yourself, I'm not the one to blame. By the way, that was a Norma 150 grain 30 out 6 bullet we were using. Thanks for watching the end of the video, you dirty dogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Stay tuned next week. Have a good one, you dirty dogs.